So throughout the past year, I've been making videos with the Sunpak Ultra 7000 TM, a very inexpensive tripod that gets the job done. However, I think it's time for an upgrade. Hello everyone and welcome to the Box Desire. Today I'll be unboxing the 055 x Probe tripod legs and the 502 video head by Manfrotto. The Pro Tripod Legs retail for $160, however you can purchase them for around $125 on Amazon and there will be a link in the description if you're interested. These legs feature a maximum height of 56 inches and 4 leg angle settings. So not only do the legs extend, but each leg can also be positioned at 4 different angles. Inside the box there's some paperwork and warranty information, followed by the 055 x Pro Tripod itself. The tripod has a very solid aluminum build, it feels very sturdy and locks into place easily. It features rubber grips on the top of two of the legs for easy handling. Towards the bottom you can see the rubber feet as well as the locks to extend the tripod which do require a little bit of effort but avoid accidental unlocking. There are also locks on the top of each leg so you can get even lower shots if you wish to do so. On the top the base can extend to get the maximum height and you can twist the neck to a 90 degree angle as well so you can really get creative with this tripod. And finally there's also a bubble level so that's a nice addition. So this is a great tripod that offers tons of flexibility and that should last a very long time thanks to its aluminum construction. However for it to be used to attach a camera you need a head. That's why I've chosen the Manfrotto MVH502AH which has the required bottom to attach to the tripod. This one retails for $230, however on Amazon it costs only $160 and there will be a link in the description as well. Now inside the box there is the handle which has a very solid aluminum build and a rubberized grip that's easy to hold. And now onto the fluid head itself which feels like very lasting equipment with a very hefty construction. It is built mostly out of aluminum, however it does have several plastic components as well. It offers a pan fluid system that helps capture smooth footage while panning. It also features a wide and long top plate for additional stability and comes in the standard black and red color combination. One thing you'll notice immediately is the hole in the center which is Manfrotto's bridging technology. This makes for a relatively lightweight head and at the same time this technology provides better handling with weight variations so that there's consistent fluidity with different cameras. Now installation is very simple, all you have to do is take the cap off the legs and then screw the head on the top. The handle is also very easy to install and it can be placed on the left or right side. To place a camera it comes with a quick release plate. The attachment however has two screws so I took the first one off because I am using a DSLR and a nice feature is the ability to store this additional screw in the tripod itself. Afterwards all you have to do is attach the camera and then slide it into place while holding the lock mechanism. Some other noteworthy components are the tilt lock to avoid vertical movement and on the opposite side the tilt drag mechanism to make loose or tighten the fluidity of moving up and down. On the bottom the red ring controls the panning drag to adjust your horizontal shooting and to lock that mechanism there is a pan lock in the middle. So it is overall a great piece of equipment that makes a great combo with the legs. The only two complaints I have so far are the handle, which is usually steady but can sometimes become a little loose and rotate. And also the panning lock, which takes two twists to come off, so you have to fully lock it when the head is not in use to avoid losing it. But overall these two should allow me to do a lot more than with my old tripod. Now don't get me wrong, the Sunpak tripod isn't bad for steady shots, it actually held up pretty well after a year of use, but it's nearly impossible to do panning shots with it. With the Manfrotto head I should be able to capture a lot more shots that have movement in them, like these, without having to redo them more than a couple times. Both pieces of gear, the legs and head, are extremely easy to use and I really love the fluidity the video head provides. Build quality is also a big factor with these, they feel like they are well put together but I guess only time will tell. That is it for the unboxing and overview of the Manfrotto 502 video head and the 055X Probe tripod legs. If you would like to see how this gear and other products I've unboxed hold up, then please be sure to follow me on Twitter and I will keep you posted. 
Also, please hit the subscribe button down below to receive notifications when I upload new videos like these. Thanks for watching.